nestled between the runways at Atlanta Hartsfield Jackson International Airport is something quite unexpected. Flat Rock Church Cemetery sits just off runway 27 left and is just a hundred yards or so from the Atlanta VOR and a short hop down the road from Atlanta's surveillance radar. About an acre in size with around a hundred graves, the cemetery is accessible by Sullivan Road, which circumnavigates the airport and gives you access to loads of great plane spotting locations. The cemetery is also less than 500 feet west of north-south taxiways SJ and SC that connect ATL's fifth runway, 1028, to the rest of the airport. In fact, to access the cemetery, you can drive through a tunnel on Sullivan Road that goes under those taxiways. The fifth runway has not been used during the pandemic, but when it reopens, the cemetery and surrounding area will be a great place to spot planes as they taxi back to the terminal after landing. Standing on the property, the smell of jet fuel permeates the air, and the roar of jet engines never ceases. The oldest grave dates to 1877, with the most recent from the 1970s. In 1970, the church's congregation sold its property, except for the cemetery, to the city of Atlanta for its fast-growing airport. However, the transaction left no provision for continued upkeep. In 1986, descendants of some of those buried there found Flat Rock Cemetery Care Incorporated. That group worked for years to rehabilitate the badly overgrown site and raised funds to support the cemetery's long-term care. Today, some graves are well kept, others not so much. If you're visiting ATL and are looking for some good spotting locations, the Flat Rock Church Cemetery is a worthwhile stop. But please remember to treat this final resting place with the respect it deserves. From between the runways at ATL, this is John Houston for AirwaysMag.com.